Collective Citation, Mandela Medal, Silva, the Memorial Service, Lenin State and State Funeral of the former Commander-in-Chief, Major. Where we publicly 
announce and recognize the extraordinary achievements for outstanding service delivered by men and women in blue. Military medals are proudly displayed by soldiers all over the world as a symbol of honor, bravery, loyal, and dedicated service to their country. The medals of the South African National Defense Force denotes tangible, satisfactory recognition by the state for outstanding achievements. It is also important to relate such achievements and, sub and subsequent recognition from ex uh, for excellent service within the context of 21 years of freedom and democracy, and democracy celebrations. The South African Air Force continues on its journey for transformation and excellence. This momentous occasion presents an opportunity for us as South Africans and ultimately as members of the South African Air Force to reflect on how we are progressing on this journey of freedom and democracy. We need to continue to work together towards a better South Africa, and ultimately for us as members of the South African Air Force to work to, and to work towards the vision of an Air Force that inspires confidence. An Air Force responsive to any audit tasks within its constitutional mandate. The awarding of the medals for service excellence and leaving the code of conduct in our day-to-day -day lives, furthermore, contributes to the culture of good governance amongst us as public servants and as citizens of <coughs> These values and qualities are ultimately reflected in the common Air Force culture, which runs like a golden thread through decades of our Air Force history and excellence. Compatriots, we must make the sacrifice needed to get epic results. In view of the current economic climate and the effort put towards good governance, the Serbian Air Force <coughs> continues to apply austerity measures to find ways and means to do more with less. The spiraling cost of aviation, the price of fuel, and the poor exchange rate, as some of the key contributors make it challenging and sometimes very interesting to address all the current needs in the face of an ever-increasing tempo of operations. It is therefore also incumbent on all of us at all levels to make an extra effort to execute our daily tasks with the minimum resources at hand. We must commit ourselves to excellence in all we do, strive for perfection, and embrace a culture and attitude of learning. The strength of the Air Force lies in the diversity of its people and culture. We must be relentless and display commitment, competence, and patriotism at all times. We all know that our current achievements do not come without sustained effort and much sacrifices on both on the, on the part of both the members, our families, and loved ones. To the families and loved ones of all Air Force members, your support in this regard is highly appreciated. We trust that the Air Force can depend on your continued unselfish support in the future. My message to all present here today is that we as members of the South African Air Force should really feel proud of our achievements over the past 21 years and that we should all continue to commit to work towards a shared Air Force future to serve with discipline, dignity, and 
professionalism and maturity. Let us emulate the spirit of Dr. Nelson Mandela and honor his pledge, Madame Kikot. We pledge ourselves to liberate all our people from continuing bondage of poverty, deprivation, suffering, gender, and other discrimination. Close. I also wish to extend my most sincere gratitude to all participants and the members here before who have ensured that this is truly a memorable ceremonial occasion for all. To all the recipients of the medals today, wear them with pride and absolute dignity. Remember, all those medals are priceless. I thank you.